Good evening and thank you for joining us tonight. I'm Sion Rose. And I'm Roseanne Aragon. Tonight, the death toll continues to rise from that deadly string of tornadoes. Here are the latest numbers. Authorities fear at least 70 people are dead in Kentucky. In Illinois, six deaths, four in Tennessee, two in Arkansas, and two in Missouri. One of the hardest hit sites, a candle factory in Mayfield, Kentucky, where a roof collapsed with dozens of workers inside. The governor calling it a mass casualty situation. KPRC 2's Bill Barajas just arrived to the city of Mayfield tonight. He joins us now live. Bill, what are you seeing out there? Well, we just got here about uh, two hours ago. We saw the pictures and images of the devastation and the destruction here in Mayfield, Kentucky, as most people did. But nothing compares to actually being here and seeing it with your own two eyes. It truly looks like a war zone. Officials have described it as if a bomb has gone off. Now, we are in and around the downtown area where you can see homes like this here uh, that have been destroyed. Power lines are on the ground and trees have have been uprooted and most people here unless you have a generator which uh, is in the background right now are without power. The drive in was overwhelming but nothing compared to what we would eventually encounter a string of deadly tornadoes devastating Kentucky and neighboring states. The town of Mayfield one of the hardest hit members of a local Baptist church there trying to do what they could to help. We had a family of five. They were in their house and it was leveled. And um, they found the wife and the four young boys uh, in the field behind the house. The mother was, uh, she was pregnant also and, and she lost a child. The widespread destruction consisted of twisted metal, splintered wood, damaged homes and vehicles just about everywhere you looked. The windows start breaking, dogs flying through the air. I didn't know what to do. Walls feel like they was caving in. It was very scary. The Mayfield Candle Factory was leveled with 110 people inside when the tornado hit. 40 people have been rescued so far, but many families have been forced to sit and wait as rescuers search the area for additional survivors. By the end of today or tomorrow, um, we will be north of at least 70 lives lost here in Kentucky. I think we will have lost more than 100 people. The National Guard was called in to help, but the road to recovery won't be easy. And right now, it's about reuniting families, praying that there's no additional loss of life, but also bracing for the worst. I've seen a lot of things in my life, from policing to ministry, but this is the worst, absolutely the worst. And officials here calling this the most severe tornado event in Kentucky's history. They will need lots of help in the days and weeks to come. Sion, Roseanne, back to you.